What's everyone's biggest complaint when it comes to Wi-Fi? It's speed. We just can't get fast enough internet in our homes these days with everything that we have connected. For the most part, we buy bigger and more powerful routers, but is that the best way to improve connectivity and speeds in your home? I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and just launched today in Canada, there's another option for that. It's this. It's Google Wi-Fi. It promises faster internet speeds, no buffering, and a super easy setup. Can it really live up to all that hype? I got my hands on one of the first test units in Canada to find out. So what exactly is Google Wi-Fi? It's what's known as a mesh Wi-Fi system. It essentially connects to your modem and then it takes that internet signal and spreads it all over the house using these pods. The kit I have comes with three of these and that's what helps to get the signal all over your home. So how exactly does it work? Simply put, Google Wi-Fi takes the signal from your home's modem or gateway and spreads it all over the home. It creates multiple connection points inside the house so underserviced areas like the basement, top floor, or distant rooms can get as strong a Wi-Fi signal as if you were right next to the router. You just place the pods where you need better service and Google does the rest. So just how fast is Google Wi-Fi? I ran some tests on my old modem or gateway just before I installed Google Wi-Fi and I was getting about 27 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band and about 60 megabits per second on the 5G band. I just ran some tests on the newly installed Google Wi-Fi. Right now I'm getting about 66 megabits per second and often I'll get about 68. How fast is that? It's quick enough to stream a 4K video without buffering. And for those of you who aren't 4K ready yet, it's pretty darn fast. So what do you need to use Google Wi-Fi? Internet service from a provider, of course, and a modem or a gateway. You'll also need a smartphone or tablet and it works with both Android and iOS. You're also going to need the free Google Wi-Fi app. You won't need a router though since Google Wi-Fi will be doing that job for you. Google Wi-Fi has several really cool features and one of them is Network Assist. It's essentially an invisible genius that's always working to make sure that you're on the closest Wi-Fi point to you for the clearest signal and the fastest connection. So how does it do that? It's working in the background trying to make sure you're on the least congested channel. Now what does that mean? Wi-Fi in our neighborhoods essentially runs on shared channels and for proof of that look no further than your phone's Wi-Fi menu. You can see at any given time how, how many of your neighbors are all on the internet at the same time and here there's apparently a lot of them. So what Network Assist does is basically works to make sure you're on the clearest channel at any given time so these devices can talk to each other for a seamless signal and provide you with fast Wi-Fi to your device. Feature number two is Family Wi-Fi. This setting lets you control exactly who gets Wi-Fi time and when. You can schedule pauses in internet use during homework time, dinner hours, or at bedtime, and there's no fighting over devices or negotiating. You schedule the Wi-Fi to shut down, it shuts down, and as the administrator, you're the only person with that power. Feature number three, you can have multiple account managers. Works great for parents, all you need is a Gmail account. Feature number four allows you to have an out of home connection, which means you can see what's going on and who's online no matter where you are. It also allows you to help and troubleshoot from outside the house. And feature number five is the ability to create a secure guest Wi-Fi network. That's great because it means you don't have to give out the passwords to your own personal private network. Overall, I have to say I'm hooked on Google Wi-Fi. I can't overstate enough how easy it was to set up and it was something I was really dreading because my experience with routers and modems and that kind of stuff has been that it's really complicated and requires tech support. The opposite is true with Google Wi-Fi. I also love the fact that you can control and configure absolutely everything about it here on the app, including that family Wi-Fi feature which lets you take full control over when your kids get access to the internet it's super smart, it's very easy, it's very intuitive. Of course, Google Wi-Fi also improves your internet signal in most cases, so that's gonna be something that people are really going to enjoy as well. And last but not least, it looks a lot nicer than your average modem too, which is great because you're gonna to wanna to have these out and about where you're going to be using them, so it's a good thing they're not ugly. If you're gonna get a Google Wi-Fi kit, this one here, the three pack is $439. You can add additional pods to it for 179 bucks a piece. This, as I said, just launches today in Canada. It's brand new. So if you're gonna get one, now you can. The full review of Google Wi-Fi is on my blog at techgadgetscanada.com. It's got a lot more detail than I can provide in a short video review. So I hope you'll go and check it out. 
If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button and do consider subscribing. It not only feeds my massive ego, but it does let me know there's people out there watching and hopefully enjoying these videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next time, at ErinLYYC.